because I'm doing calf exercises because as you'll see throughout this episode, I'm half paralyzed. I injured my calf, I heard a pop, kickboxing training, but the show must go on. It's a career, right? It's not a hobby. Welcome back to It's All Eats. We're doing best fish and chips in Sydney, the good old Australian staple. We started here in Avalon Beach. Look at us. We're in Aedon, bruh. We're in Avalon Beach. The first place we're going is Oceana Traders here. Then we're going fish and lemonade in Manly up on the wharf. Then we're heading to the eastern suburbs of Sydney to charcoal fish. And then we're finishing off at Fitch. Fitch. F-I-C-H. Fitch. In Petersham. Let's go. Oh, I can see it. I can see it across the road up the street. Let's go. And look, I didn't go through what type of fish we're getting because I don't know the names of all of these different fish that they're gonna have. So I'm gonna get the old standard. I'm gonna say, what's your most popular? How do you serve it? How do you deliver it? Let's get it happening. Here we go, fish and chips at the front, grilled or battered? Oh, that's a good choice though. My opinion, battered, cuz, cuz I wanna see, the best way to judge them is to get them to do more process to the food. So there's more things to stuff up and more things to get right. So battered is always gonna be a better judgment, true? Kingfish, blue white, snapper. The snapperoo. Ocean Trader, seafood merchants. Thanks, mate. See ya. Let's go, we'll pump it just here, brother. $22, all right? Chips, there's a sauce. There's a little, little um, cabbage based salad, little slaw salad. Old lemaroo. See how this goes, brother. Thick cut chips. I'm gonna start, brother. Straight into it. First bite, lemon sat. This is hot as. That's crispy as, I can feel that already. That's, that's cooked well. Ooh, this is burning hot, bro. It all comes down to this. Oh, oh, oh. Yum. Yum, yum. That's beautiful. That sauce. Beautiful, soft, nice fish inside, tasting well, crispy, hard outside, don't taste like oil. You know, that's a big thing, cuz. When they're battered, how many flavors are they really gonna have? They're not gonna have this crazy amount of flavors. It's gonna come down to the quality of the fish inside. The quality is beautiful, bro. Wow, that fish inside tastes perfect, but the butter, what's it gonna taste like? It's gonna taste like lemon in the sauce it's in. So the only thing that's important when things are battered is that the oil's fresh. Can't taste no oil in that, hot and crispy. Tastes like hot and crispy fish. Sauce is gone. Chips are nice, cooked fresh. But you know what, when you get fish and chips, they're always gonna be basic. You know when you go kebab places and it's a bit more like they experiment with the chips, you get those nice salts, you get those lemon, base salts and you don't get that, I feel like you're not going to get that at fish and chip stores. They're going to be as basic as they are. Um, just tastes like salt, but they're nice and fresh. How's the slaw? Slaw is unedible to me. When I look at salads like that, I just look at them more like their decorations on the plate, like chopped up cabbage, no dressing. It's not even oiled. It's unedible, but it's not about that. Healthy. Yeah, the fish is really good. That's the most important thing, I guess. Look at that. We're off to a good start. Well, bro, that is really nice, cuz, I'm not gonna lie. Friday, eh? I'll try and get that everywhere then, if they've got it. You know, some places they're gonna have some fish they're not. I really feel like with fish and chips, it's just that they get this cooking process right and that's, that's pretty much what it comes down to and the fish is of a high quality. At the end of the day, when you eat fish and chips, it's always gonna taste like what you put on it, what sauce you use, you know what I mean? It's not the most flavoursome of dishes. It's two deep fried ingredients, you know what I'm saying? It's two deep fried ingredients. One's a fish, one's a potato. Cracker, we're off to a good start, brother. Come on, I'm not gonna eat it all. You're off to a good start, eh? Oceana Traders, 22 bucks, how do I feel about that price? Oh, like, it just seems about normal. 22 bucks for a kebab, for a burger, for a Big Mac meal, like, what isn't $22 anymore? Do I think $22 is fish and chips? Probably not, I feel like it's like 15, but it's $22 and that's what it is. And I'm sure that's gonna be a consistent thing for the rest of the show. Anyway, where are we going to? On the wharf at Manly for fish and lemonade. Get your camera out of my face. Come on, on the highway, boot off, let's go. All 
Right, so I've hobbled my way to Sydney's northern beaches, Manly Wharf, fish and lemonade. I wonder if they've got lemonade. Let's find out. Ah, actually all jokes aside, I'm really curious about their lemonade. The whole trip here, I'm thinking, oh brother, they're making big claims putting lemonade in their name, you know? If you put something in your name, you've got to stand by it, you know? Fish and lemonade. What a spot. The FNL Classic crispy fried New Zealand hake fillet served with chips and wedge and a fresh lemon. That's going to have to be you, mate. Fresh lemonade. Cold pressed lemonade is packed with vitamin C and it's a delicious way to freshen up your day. Packed with vitamin C. Trying to make it out like it's healthy. Relax. Anyway, that's what we're getting. Bad at the New Zealand hake. Hake. Hake L. Hake turbo. And a, and a lemonade. Uh, no, no, it's all right. Just a, uh, oh, there's a napkin there. All right, thank you. Perfect. Thanks, brother. Up here on the surfboard, bruz. Get it be on the surfboard. But that's a big piece of fish, cuz. That's a big piece of fish straight off the bat. Like, look at the size of him, cuz. All right, I'm getting hungry. Battered hake from New Zealand. Chips, lemon, tartare sauce. $15, $7 for the large size. Can't complain with those prices here on Manly Wharf, eh, boys? Let's do this. Well. They gave me two lemons, so I'm putting them both on. You can never have too much lemon. Well, well. That's a very unique tartare sauce. Compared to the last one, the last one was more of a regular tartare sauce, the zesty type, right? The one that has that, that dressing taste. This one has a, a lot more of a mayonnaise, deeper taste, a creamy taste. No zest to it at all. I don't know if I like that better or worse. Probably liked it less. Try with the chips. The chips are nice. They're not hand cut. Like those last ones, they were full hand cut, hand crafted, thick cut chips. They're not like that. They're more the stock standard ones, but the seasoning is nice. It's chicken salt, crispy. Now for the test of resistance. Well, guys, look at the size of this thing. But what? The size of this. Guys, what is this? That's like four or five hundred grams of fish, lad. See how it goes, cuz. Very crispy outer. They've done the batter good. Mm. Yum. Beautiful. The fish is good. The fish is good. I don't think the, the hake stands up against the old flathead from the other store, I'm not going to lie. It's good, though. The batter's all right. The batter's all right. It has a bit of that flavor, like Pluto Pup batter flavor. You can In this one, you can taste the batter strong, a lot stronger than the last one. At Oceana Traders, the way it was battered, it was like crispy, hot, but you couldn't taste the batter. This one, you can taste the batter, and it has a batter taste, right? But if you like that, you like that. If you don't, you don't. For me, I'd prefer to just taste the fish. This one tastes more like batter. The chips are good, though. And I'm not saying this in terms of quality or not, this is just taste preference. Because I'll tell you one thing, the fish is fresh as, all of this is cooked well, didn't come with a salad. That's a feed and a half for $15, cuz. That's a feed and a half. Down on Manly Wharf, like, no wonder people are loving it so much. The vibe's good, the store looks beautiful, heated, outdoor seats in a beautiful location, cheap fish and chips and you're getting that much quality? Wow, well, yeah, that's hard to compete with, bro, you know what I mean? And it's all good. Now this is what I like, bro, something to make it unique. So this is their, their, their edge, is that they make lemonades and a few different varieties. So we'll see how their lemonade goes. Oh, that's beautiful. Woo! That's fresh made lemonade, cuz. Wow. Whoa, it's so strong. That's mad. That's fresh lemonade. You know when it stings your tongue? <laughs> it's stinging my tongue. <laughs> it's that fresh. Mad, ice in it, hectic. Tastes sugary as, as anything. <laughs> my teeth are gonna be sore after this, but I love that. 
and a smaller size than this was five dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty bucks. You got this and a drink probably that big. Any of the flavors, Mariposi, bro. I'm liking this place. Nothing bad to say about this, bro. Where are we going next? Charcoal fish here, Rose Bay, Eastern Suburbs, bro. Let's see how they stack up. Let's see what they're doing different. Let's go. Let's go. Wonder why it's called charcoal fish. I'm hoping they cook it on charcoals. You know, like charcoal chicken? Imagine they're cooking a the fish like that. Yum. Yum. Oh my God. This one to be the best fish I've ever had in my life, cuz I'm telling you. I even asked for the receipt just for the proof. Listen to this. I go, can I, um, can I get like fish and chips? She goes, yeah, you want like flathead or snap or this and that? I go, yeah, flathead, because we got flathead at that first place, right? $36. Story's not over. And I said, oh, does that come with a tartare sauce? She goes, no, nah, no, nah, that's extra on the side. $3 extra. We're up to $39. $36, they don't even come with a f***ing sauce. Then I said, oh, I'm thirsty, can I get a water? She goes, yeah, steel or sparkling water. I go, steel water. $7. This? Fish and chips and a water is $46.60. Bruh. Hey, you're lucky I'm doing this for YouTube, Mr. Charcoal fucking fish. Come on, bruh. Anyway, we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. Let's go, brother. Oh, Bill got the parcel. Got the undo. All right, what is this, cuz? I'm, I'm very curious, right? So I'm obviously very curious now after paying those exorbitant prices. All right, wow. It's still got its head. What are you talking about, cuz? Hey, what the f was that, lad? Hey, don't, bro. It spiked me, lad. I went to grab its head and something stabbed me. <laughs> and I felt like I got attacked, guys. Like I felt like, I don't know, guys. The combination of events, there's a fish head, I got stabbed on the finger by something and I got a little bit scared then, all right? Let me attempt to rip its head off again. That's what I got stabbed on, all right? So, <laughs> I'm not lying, mate, that hurt. Nah, they left its head on there, bro. That's a spinny up. Yum. And then, hey, what's wrong with you, bro? Oh, you got stabbed again. So here we go. That's why they call it charcoal fish. All right, let's see how this goes, brother. I'm like, it better be good, mate. <laughs> and this sauce, you, better be good. Let's go. What's it about? Look, I love the fact, let me get into it. I love the fact that it's cooked on a charcoal, like charcoal chicken, you know what I mean? I love the fact that that's that. That's unique, right? I love people being different. Yes, good concept. Cuz, wow, that's nice. I'm not even gonna lie about that, cuz. Well, yum. Bright yum. Yum, cuz. It's got bones in it, lad. It's got bones in it. But that, that's nice, cuz. The tartare sauce. That's hectic, cuz. You know what it tastes like? Yogurt, right? Natural yogurt and chopped up pickles mixed together. That's what that tastes like. It has just those two flavors, nothing else. No lemon, no zest, it's just pickles and yogurt. But it's all, it's nice, cuz. Chips are man. They, they feel and look like they're hand cut. That fish, cuz, wow. Right, well. It's just charred. Perfectly, cuz. It's got that, it's like when you're eating charcoal chicken and it's in its skin's crunchy and it's yum, cuz. All right, charge me $36 for that fish and chips. Charge me $36, all right? Now that I know the quality of that, I accept that. I accept that that's what it is, okay? It's high quality fish and chips, char grilled, hand cut fries, $36 in an expensive area. I get it, but 
Don't fucking charge three dollars for a sauce, cuz. Come on, man. That's just scummy, bro. That's just scummy. Put the sauce in it. It comes with sauce. Three dollars for a sauce? No, it doesn't come with sauce. So what if you if you don't ask, you just presume? If you take your bag home and there's no tartare sauce, and you're like, oh, no, no, you had to ask for that. That's three dollars extra. Come on, bro. It's embarrassing, man. That's annoying. It's a, it's a major turnoff. You know, if all you have to do, it's sauce. Stop trying to capitalize on everything. Put it in there. And then, then that, $36, yeah, that, that's mad. And then I'll say mad, but have you, and then I'll say, if, have you had that mad fish and chips? It's D, but it's cracker. It's cooked mad, it's mad quality. Even the chips, look at the chips, cuz. The chips are mad. They, they, they look golden cooked, they cook golden perfection. And mad, it's just, all that money was the aftertaste, that yeah, seven dollars sip of water, that sauce, ooh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's just a bad aftertaste. Where are we off to next? Fitch, F-I-C-H in Petersham. We're off. Hopefully the Sydney traffic has died down and we can get there soon, mate. Let's go. Alright, here we are, Petersham, final spot, fish. It's pronounced fish. F-I-C-H is spelt though. It's the final spot on the list. Finally, we're here. Oh, hey, how are you, mate? Ah, uh, snap kicked myself in the head, lad. Didn't work out. Hey, how are you? Oh, $17, by the way, that was. $17.60. But look, I think that. I'll be honest with you, I think the tartare sauce is extra. I think they pull that stunt because what happened then is, <clears throat> I said to him, all right, I said, he goes, all right, $17, $17.60, whatever, and I tap, I go, does that come with tartare sauce, Shane? And he went like this, he went like, yeah, yeah, I'll put it in there. In a sort of way like, look, I'll just give it to you for nothing, don't worry. You know what I mean? Like he said it like that, he didn't say, yeah, it comes with tartare sauce, he went like, yeah, like, don't worry about it, I'll chuck it in. So it's safe to assume that it would have been like two dollars extra. I don't know about that, Kaz. Thanks, brother. Thank you. All right, here we are. All right, all right. A lot of chips. Let's see how it goes, bruh. They've all been good. They've all been good. Normal tartare sauce. We're back to the normal one because they've all been a bit different. This is the. Ridgy Ditch Tartare. Very pickly, very zesty. You know, that, that one. Oh, look, it's my favorite one. Actually, it's my favorite one. Normal chips, what can I say about that? Ling. The Loch Ness. This is the tentacle of McCracken, the Viking Norsk Lingfish. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. They've got it right. They've got it correct. The old lingfish. Battered well. Battered flavor doesn't get in the way of the fish. Hot, crispy. Fish is juicy. Good amount of fish in there. Tartare sauce is the basic tartare, zesty. Chips are average. 17 bucks. I feel like the fish though, it's a little bit wet. I feel like when I bit it, and it felt like juicy inside for a second, but it may have felt like watery. You know, like the fish was cooked, wet whilst it was like still too wet. You know what I mean? You, that's a thing. Meat can be too wet, fish can be, seafood can be too wet before you cook it, it's a thing. And that's what happens with a lot of frozen food. I honestly, I feel like when I bit that, it was, it didn't ruin it, but it was just like a lot of like juice, you know? And then I thought, oh, what? That's a moist fish. And then, but the juice unfortunately tasted like water, you know? And it was like, oh, okay. That's a downside to it. But other than that, it's good. It's good, bro. It's good fish and chips. All right. That's a whack bar. There's not much more I can say about it. It's fish and chips, bro. We're not working with a lot here. You know, old fundamentals. That's all I can comment on. No salad side. It's all right, cuz. It's all right. I would rank that like about as good as the one in Manly. About good, it's, it's about the same price, 17, at least it's on the cheaper side. Look, although the one at Charcoal 
fish, right, is ridiculously priced, but it's not my job to go around and tell you what you should and shouldn't be paying, all right? At the end of the day, good food is gonna cost a lot of money. The better the food is, the more it costs. It's up to you as a consumer to decide what you're willing to spend and what you get in return for it, all right? So yes, it's on the dearer side, everything, it ended up being $45, whatever it was, but it was the best. And my job is to find the best fish and chips, and that is the best fish and chips. It was beautiful, it was annoying, there was bones in it. I love how it was char grilled charcoal. Well, charcoal fish, not char grilled fish, charcoal fish is called. I love it, it was beautiful. The chips were hand cut, you're doing well, stop being scumbags charging people for sauce on the side. How about I sell you a burger and charge you for lettuce then? Do you want sauce on that? Oh, that's another $2. Do you want a sip of water? That's $10. But your fish is good, all right? Get out of my face.